companies all over the world are migrating to an AI agent architecture. And to make sure that you don't fall behind, I created this video to help you understand the three core concepts of AI agents. How is an AI agent different from previous AI bots? The four agentic patterns as explained by Andrew NG and the types of multi-agent AI architectures. At the end of this video, I also provide you a public GitHub repo, which you can use to build free agents with LLM such as DeepSeek. So watch the whole video to know more. I'm Srinath Warrior. I'm an AI engineering manager from Bangalore. Let's dive in. Let's first understand the difference between traditional AI systems and AI agents. A non-agentic AI is like a simple chatbot running on an LLM. It does exactly what you ask, but without deeper reasoning or iteration. For example, if you go to ChatGPT and say, generate a travel itinerary for a seven day trip to Japan, it will instantly give you a schedule. The result might be decent, but it won't check for your personal interests like food, history, adventure, budget constraints, real time weather or seasonal events, or flight and hotel availability. It's a one shot response, quick, but often generic. An agentic AI, on the other hand, plans, researches, revises, and improves the output before finalizing it. Instead of instantly generating an itinerary, it would ask for clarifying questions like, do you prefer city exploration or nature? It would research external data, checking real time flight prices, hotel availability, and weather conditions. It would generate an initial itinerary, suggesting places based on your interests. But then it would iterate on your feedback. If you dislike certain suggestions, it revises them. It would also optimize the plan, adjusting for time efficiency and budget constraints. So in short, a non-agentic AI workflow is linear in following instructions. You give a prompt, get a response and move on. But an agentic AI workflow is iterative and dynamic. The AI thinks, researches, adjusts and improves before arriving at the final result. Now let's understand how an AI agent works. Andrew NG, one of the biggest names in AI outlined four key agentic patterns. Reflection is when AI learns from itself. So AI doesn't just output an answer. It checks and improves its own work. For example, if you ask AI to write Python code, instead of giving the code in one shot, it reviews and fixes its own mistakes before showing the final version. Second is tool use where the AI uses external resources. So the AI isn't limited to just text generation. It can access search engines, databases, APIs, or even execute code. For example, you ask the AI, how much will my 50,000 rupees grow in 10 years at 8% compound interest? Instead of simply estimating an answer, it runs the actual calculation and gives an accurate answer. Third is planning and reasoning where the AI thinks in steps. So the AI doesn't just give a direct answer. It figures out the best approach to solve complex problems. For example, you ask the AI, create an image of a cat in the same pose as the dog in this photo. It analyzes the dog's pose, generates the cat image and ensures the same posture. And fourth is multi-agent systems where AI teams work together. So instead of one AI doing everything, multiple AI agents can specialize and collaborate. For example, AI1 researches a topic, AI2 writes an article, AI3 edits and improves the content, and AI4 optimizes it for SEO and uploads it. And a central driving AI reviews the answers of each individual agent. Each AI does what it is best at doing, just like a human team. Now, when you have multiple such AI agents working together, they can be structured in different architectural patterns. So let's take a look at the most common multi-agent architectures. Sequential is like an assembly line approach. This is the simplest pattern. Each agent performs a task and passes the result to the next agent, like an assembly line. A good example is AI powered resume screening and hiring, where agent one extracts and categorizes key resume details like name, experience, skills. Agent two summarizes candidate strengths and weaknesses. Agent three matches candidates to job descriptions based on company criteria. And agent four sends the shortlisted profiles to the hiring manager for review. This structure ensures a clear workflow, but can be slow because each step depends on the previous one. In a hierarchical architecture, a manager agent oversees multiple specialized sub agents, collects their outputs and compiles a final result. A good example would be an AI personal finance advisor, where a manager agent oversees the entire financial planning process, 
Sub agent one analyzes user income and expenses. Sub agent two tracks the market trends. Sub agent three monitors financial risks. And sub agent four generates a financial strategy. This structure is useful for complex decision making where different agents bring in specialized insights. A hybrid agent architecture could be a mix of sequential and hierarchical. So it allows both top down delegation and continuous feedback loops. An example here would be an AI powered smart home system where a top level AI agent oversees the entire home automation process. Sub agent one controls the lighting and room temperature. Sub agent two manages security systems. Sub agent three syncs with the user's schedule. This approach is common in robotics and adaptive AI systems where real time decision making is crucial. Fourth is parallel agents where multiple agents work independently on different tasks, speeding up the process. For example, an AI powered e-commerce personalization service where agent one analyzes a customer's past purchase history, agent two monitors real time browsing behavior and agent three maybe tracks current sales and discounts. Agent four generates a personalized product recommendation list. And finally, the fifth type is asynchronous agents. In an asynchronous system, agents work independently and react to events instead of following a strict sequence. For example, an AI powered cyber security bot where agent one scans network traffic for potential threats, agent two monitors system logs for unusual patterns, agent three checks login behaviors for anomalies and agent four deploys countermeasures if a threat is detected. These agents don't follow a fixed workflow. They react whenever an event occurs. This structure is ideal for real time monitoring and cybersecurity. As promised before, this is my public GitHub repo, which helps you build your own AI agent. If you want to build your own free AI agent, just follow the instructions written below and it's all sorted. You can also check my previous video for a deep dive on this. Make sure to comment below what other AI content you would like to see on this channel.